Okay. Uh, so if I remember correctly, the story was I was telling you about my first uh, time that I flew in an airplane and that uh, it, it is very overwhelming because you have a lot of things going on. <clears throat> and, you know, what not a lot of people think about is that uh, there's all this down here, all the, all the instruments. The knobs and, you, and the dials and the... The knobs and the dials and the switches and the doodads. The doodads. And, but there's also the whole world out here. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times uh, people pick something. They pick to look outside or they pick to look down and they neglect the other. So there's a whole already a problem. Mm -hmm. What we're taught very rudimentary, very uh, from like a 10,000 foot level is, is a way to scan. And the scan starts with, with a point that's predetermined and it's routine. So uh, the concept of muscle memory and, routine definitely follows, you know, is important here. We're taught to scan uh, either, you know, left, down, and right, or the other way around. And it is an inhuman task to, in the amount of time it takes you to complete the scan, which you're doing continuously, it is impossible to look at each of those things and understand exactly what it means, right? Mm -hmm. That's why on your car, you have on the, uh, you know, on the tachometer, you have a red part that says, if your engine's running this, this high, mm -hmm. you got a problem. Right. Or if your oil temperature is in, you know, above 380 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, you got a problem. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of what you're looking for, right? You're looking for things that don't belong. Things that are deltas, right? Mm -hmm. And Something that I'll never forget is uh, I was flying with a teacher of mine, actually, which was one of the coolest things um, about the, the Naval Academy was I was taught structures and strengths and materials by this man. And he was also my flight instructor. Um, he was a, a, a Harrier pilot in the Marines for many, many years. But uh, I thought I was just killing it. I thought I was, you know, I looked outside, it looked perfect. I looked at my altitude and it was perfect. And I could feel the air conditioning hitting my face really hard. And he's like, Ben, uh, are you forgetting something? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good, sir. I think we're really nailing this. He's like, oh, okay. You feel that air conditioning? I'm like, yes, sir. He's like, okay, why do you think it's blowing so hard? I'm like, oh, I, I, I don't know. I didn't notice that until you just said it. He's like, it's because, Ben, we are going about 50 miles per hour faster than we're supposed to be going. <laughs> And it's blowing air into the fan for the air conditioning extra hard. And those are the type of things that people that have the luxury of not just having a helmet fire, you know, that's what you call it when you're just so overwhelmed, you're having a helmet mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. Those are, those are the type of deltas that people notice that comes with experience, right? Mm -hmm. Totally. But sometimes the best you can do is to look, and this is like the basic literacy. You're talking about having a conversation, right? If you want to have a conversation, you need to know, you need to have a base level of literacy in the language. Uh, for what, I, what I'm talking about, my base level of li literacy is understanding that if a needle is pointing in a red or yellow place, where it was previously when you looked uh, in, you know, the margin of safety, then, you know, we're going to keep going. It might not be like the mission that we're trying to accomplish. I might be high, low, fast, slow, but I'm not in danger. Hmm. Um Something that I think a lot about too, uh, uh, this man named Colonel John Boyd, I'm sure you've heard of the concept of the, of the UDA loop. Mm -hmm. um, maybe not. It, UDA is, is um, what do you call it? An acronym for observe, orient, decide, and act. Mm. And it's a, continuum, right. it's a continuum put forth by this man named, named uh, Colonel John Boyd. And it was how he approached uh, different situations. And he was a designer and engineer. Uh, I'm fascinated with him because pilot, engineer, much like I, I identify with him. And uh, what he was saying was he wants to just build and design an aircraft that allows the pilot to what's called get inside of the other person's OODA loop. So orient themselves to a new situation faster. Identify those deltas. So he knows, he or she knows exactly what's going on. Um, 
and that comes from observing. Uh, what you really want to do is you want to be in a position to decide and act on the most possible information that you have the quickest. Mm-hmm. If you're quicker in that decision, that's where power comes from. Wow. Is in the rapid utilization of the information that is present to you and proper decision making. So that's a two pronged thing. Yeah, right. It is. Yeah. Um, so interesting. And that's, and I can talk about it all night, but. <laughs> 